Hey, welcome back everyone. Today, Josh Fegley takes the call he's waited a lifetime for. As Sports 10 first reported tonight, he's headed to the big leagues. According to his agent, Josh will join the White Sox for a weekend series in Tampa tomorrow. He's the first Terre Haute native in the show since 1996. Brian Dorsett's last year with the Cubs. Now many would tell you it's been a long time coming this season for Fegley. The catchers on the parent club haven't hit well and hitting seems to be all Fegley's done all year at AAA Charlotte. He's hitting 315 with 15 home runs, 41 runs batted in. He was just named an all-star for the International League yesterday. Now I know there's a major step up between the pitching you see in AAA and the big leagues, but listen to these comparisons. If you combine the numbers of Tyler Flowers and Hector Jimenez, who have done the catching for the Sox this season, Fagley has five more home runs, has driven in nine more runs, and maybe most importantly, his batting average sits more than 100 points higher. That's crazy. He's waited for this moment, but it's a moment that's impossible to imagine. We hear guys talk about it when they come down, you know, how it is up there and, you know, there's nothing like it. And, uh, you know, it's an experience that you're not going to know what it's like until you're there. And it's definitely going to be special. Um, you know, it's, it's nerve wracking to think, you know, what it's going to be like. And it's the biggest stage and, you know, a lot of pressure. And but, you know, that's that's why I've played since, you know, I was young to get to this level. Played my whole life for this. You know a little thing too about that, don't you? Oh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Joined now by the last guy to play in the big leagues from Terre Haute, Brian Dorsett. Brian, thanks so much for coming in on short notice. My like pleasure, this, Russ. On a holiday and all. This, yeah. This guy's ready out. to talk some baseball. Yeah, absolutely. It's uh, good to be here. You've worked with Josh in the past, seen him grow up here in Terre Haute. Just talk about him as a player and your reaction to this big news. I think it's great for everyone involved, you know, his whole life watching him come up through Little League and, and being able to have the success that he's had and become the player that that he is now to watch that happen is uh, pretty special. You know, he, he's a guy that worked hard and uh, was given a lot of opportunities, of course, to, uh, to excel, and uh, he took advantage of it. And, and this is one of those days where um, he'll never forget it. You know, his family will never forget it, and uh, everybody's happy for him. You know, you can play the game your whole life, and can you ever really truly be ready for that big league debut, the jitters? How do you overcome that stuff? Uh, you know, it's, it's interesting. You're so pumped. You are really pumped up. You're really, I think you're in that mode that you see a lot of guys have a lot of success in that first at bat or, you know, the adrenaline's pumping. You're seeing the ball really well. Um, it's, it's, he's a pro. He's been playing a pro, a pro, you know, as a pro now for quite a long time. And he's played Major League Spring training games. He's used to playing around these kinds of guys. And uh, he'll, he'll be fine. He'll, he'll get used to it. He'll adjust to it. And uh, probably the bigger steps were just getting ready to think about what it's like to be a Major League catcher, thinking about how to call a game properly, thinking with the pitcher and with your manager, what, how to set up hitters and those kinds of things. Probably those kinds of things happen in A ball and double A where you really realize, hey, this is not what I thought it was. There's a lot more to this, which he's used to now. So he can just take that game. He's, he's been accustomed to having success behind the plate as well. I, I don't think he's going to have a whole lot of jitters. Knowing Josh, um, he'll have adrenaline flowing. He'll be a little bit nervous, but he's always been one of those guys that just you know, takes it as it comes and does well. We're looking forward to it. I yeah, know you are too. I am too. Well, we'll see what happens with Josh. Of course, we'll continue to follow it this weekend in Tampa and the rest of the season. Hopefully, he's up for a long time. Yes, we want him to stay up there. Brian, thanks so much again for joining thanks us. Lot, That'll do it for Sports News 10. We'll be right back.